This tutorial will demonstrate how to set up your Prezi presentation in order to record it with Screencast-O-Matic. I've gotten a few questions on how to do this, so I want to go ahead and show you a screen capture of it. One of the first things you need to do is to get your Prezi uh, up and going in your browser window. You'll want to narrow your window using this button right here in order to uh, keep it from going full screen. The directions for this assignment is to limit the window to 800 by 600 pixels, not capture your whole screen. So you can, once you do that, you can come here and adjust your window to the exact size that you need. I even further notice here that this is just kind of wasted space now. So I can take and even raise up my browser so it even goes above my recording window. So just that top corner aligns with the top corner of my uh, Screencast-O-Matic window. That way I can maximize uh, everything I can see. Now I'm simply in Prezi uh, here, uh, look, clicked on my presentation. Just as a side note here, when you want to share the link to your Prezi, you want to use this share button right here, uh, not the view together. The view together lets other people see it and work on it together. Uh, what we want to do is share that. So when you post a link to your Prezi file, be sure to use this button here, uh, the link that it provides you with when clicking on it there. In terms of re recording this, once you have it all ready to go, we're going to click on edit. So go ahead and get back into your Prezi. Uh, you should have it all finished and ready to go. And at this point here, when you're getting ready to do your recording, then we want to use the present button up here on the top left. Now, when I click on present, it's going to put it in full screen mode, uh, which we don't really want. However, there's a button on the bottom right of your screen, it's right next to the little X that says full screen. When I click on that, it'll take me back down to my 800 by 600 window. So once you click on that full screen button, you'll have to go back down and it's this button right here. You click on it and that'll put it back to the window size that you had earlier. Now at this point when you're doing your recording, you can simply use these arrow buttons right here or the arrow buttons on your keyboard in order to advance your slide. So you would begin your presentation, make sure uh, that you would have your uh, window going, your uh, webcam window in Screencast-O-Matic. At this point, you'd get Screencast-O-Matic set up, make sure your microphone, your webcam is working and that you set up the screen size to 800 by 600, make any adjustments on the screen here that you need, and then start your recording with Screencast-O-Matic. As you're going through, then simply click on these buttons here to start your discussion. Right now I'm talking about Web 2.0. In this case, when I want to move to the next slide, I can use that button or the arrow keys on my keyboard to advance me to the next slide. So you would work your way through your presentation, uh, giving your information, and then simply when you're finished, you would hit Done on Screencast-O-Matic.